Onivia, League of Legends highlights. Oh, and all right. Oriana is going to come in. This is a lot of magic damage, but look at T1's team composition and ask yourself, well, how do they really get access to getting them to respawn at higher levels and then just hitting that level 9 breakpoint because the onus isn't on them to really force anything. Nice snare. Oh, the heal has to come out here from effort as here comes Cuz. The flash comes in, but the immediate teleport from the top lane. And Olaf is here too, as Soan gonna get a very nice ultimate. Down will go Teddy, and the flat ultimate is not gonna do anything as they're looking for oh. effort. There's the flash axe as Bono puts him in the death chamber. As aiming, gonna get incredibly low, nearly dies oh. to the cannon. Bono gets a dreadful kill, but here comes Closer, looking to clean it up as the Zoe does. He's gonna get two. And well, he misses that, but it Whoa. doesn't matter as the more sparkles will pick up a triple for the debuting mid lane. Try to run away, but Closer. Oh, yeah. Well. I eh. Nonetheless, triple kill. In the fight, I can go back to mid lane. And then he sees Zoe and he's like, oh crap, I gotta go back. Oh, oh. I don't know what Effort's doing here. What is he, hello? They are sitting out of their minds right now. I just want to point that out, by the way. Cuz? He needs to be doing the damage, right? There's, yeah. Teddy's not really online right now. You need your mid laner to be doing it. Kana's not gonna do it. And that's gonna kind of give up the river here over to the side of KT, who will take this free Drake T1. Just gonna back away. Quite dangerous going up against Vlad Zoe Zaya. But either way, right now KT kind of in control of this one, although we do have a bunch of turrets falling here. Bottom is gonna go the way of KT, but mid goes the way of T1. It's definitely a nice win for them there, as Shirley's not gonna get much value. You might get another charge here, though. And meanwhile, Kana pushing the top lane, and because of all that pressure with the two members of KT down on bottom side, they're losing a little bit of help up in the top two lanes. Olaf backing him up, an Orianna ball attached to him. They can zone control endlessly with Ori and Ash. We got a bit of a fight. Oh, that miss Q is big for Zoan. He might be just dead here. One more empowered Q, and that's going to be the end of that. I suppose yeah. he. Uh -oh. On this flat. Oh, okay, well he's done. Okay. Well, you know, I mean, it was it was a nice pickup, and then all of a sudden it was. Yeah. Up, and it's sort of like one of those days where you, know, you wake up and everything's just starting to go wrong. Yeah. All those. You end up, you know, you start with a headache and yeah. it's a little bit of a headache now for Kuro. He's going to get flashed on. The Volibear ultimate will be very effective. Super effective. Oh. Even as oh. Is gonna, uh, he's going to stay alive. <laughs> what happened to the turret? In store for you tonight. And you see, uh, some of the Oriana is you really, in, in spots like this, wish that you just had Seraphs in order to give larger shields to your teammates, especially. They're going in. Yeah. They're not wasting any time as the Feather Storm is down, but Teddy desperately trying to kite it out, but he cannot. And finally, the rest of T1 is going to come in. But the Ash getting so much value. So on, though, kind of baiting his team into this one. Kana in the back line, aiming in the front, is just going to get blown up. As now Bono yeah, can't I, do it alone. The triple kill goes to Cuz, who is untouchable. And the closer not going to be able to find Kuro on the way out. Forced to use Featherstorm. He, that was a beautiful cleanse on yeah. the Ash ultimate. Bono finds his way in there. Rakan on the quickness, not able to do anything against the Ragnarok. Lux laser misses, and for some unholy reason. So many items that will be used to eventually counter it. Effort is really, he's going on walks. The bottom lane of T1 do not look very clean tonight, I have to say. And um, got to be careful about that here. You're in a good spot now. How did that? That was kind of cute. Snuck through. 30% ultimate CDR right now. We are starting to get to a pretty, a pretty scary point in this game. 40% alt CDR. That's definitely gonna do something in some of these fights. Oh boy. You see that Orion? 5%? But either way, the damage is gonna come out is way too late from KT. As we have no response. None. Yeah. Goomba stop. Yeah. Just jump on the head of the Goomba. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what the ball did. The, the other thing is, if you really want the Grievous Wounds, I mean, you, you just have Holy Bear or pick up. You either have Holy Bear or 
pick up Bramble Bass Storage. Uh, okay. Kana. Uh, He's trying to go 1v2, nearly oh, able to, and he is it. gonna be able to shut down so on, but he beats Cuz into an awkward spot. At oh. least the stone plate does zero. And now KT in a little bit of an awkward closer. spot. Looking to try to zone. Oh, he closer. got the bubble. He does, and he's gonna 1v1 that uh, Oriana, and that's gonna be the end of this fight. The rest of them gonna go falling down like flies. His closer is gonna be able to close out the team fight. As now, finally, T1 will be able to push in and take the win. Yeah, and the two most important champions, two T1's team composition, are the ones that stand tall at the end of it. And I'm pretty sure with their AP values, they're able to just completely tap these turrets and bring them down. Yeah, this is going to be a very easy pickup for T1. So, Closer in his debut performance going to be 5-0 and 4. He did lose to Shopkeeper, but rookie mistake. Yeah. Not the end of the world. And that's going to be the game for T1. Again, so, now we're in the swap phase of the champ select. There is a lot of hard on engage by Akali and Camille. They have a little bit less. And we are just, we're playing ping pong. Oh, they actually want to get in there. As the Lantern's gonna come in, Malrong, remember, he doesn't have flash, so he's waiting, waiting. Effort with the flash forward. There is gonna be the hook, and I think it's gonna be a trade of the Dragon for First Blood that is given over to Teddy. So, definitely Yukal escaping. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Got Smeb in a little bit of an awkward spot, but Malrong is coming over. That was a really nice use of the blast cone, but he had to wait a long time, and now Cuz is gonna pay the price for that. As no stun is going to go down onto Kana, Malrong can't. Puts the pieces of the puzzle together, and yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, this is, you know, it should be pretty obvious, I think, but the stun is going to come in, and now Kana, with hook shot down, will be dead. And there were only, so, like, two or three range minions left, so yeah, they like, greeting out for those. It, it, this is one of those situations where Cuz hit his two aiming, but Tucson will get away, still had the heal available. And now we're going for it again. The root comes down as Tucson just runs into his death. It seems up in the top lane. Now Cuz just going to get burst down, and Kana's too low. Closer's going in, though, over the divide and in for the kill. He's going to get the one. And just like that, we see the power of Akali around this Azir. As now we're trying to dive onto aiming here. Do they have the damage? They've got a massive wave, and I think they're just going to try to run him down. There you go. Takes the lantern and gets another kill, and so that Teddy win condition is yeah. still. You can kind of see the way he's waddling right now. He's really looking for the plays, and seemingly trying to get some vision down with Stusen. Gets caught out and gets a big chunk taken out of him, but because the way that the jungle matchup, I suppose, in zero and really healthy CS numbers as, okay, he's gonna get swept, but in for the kill, the Q is gonna miss, and Closer will be Love able to pick shot. up the kill, but goes down, as now Effort is going to bite the dust. You can see that Teddy desperately trying to get that kill to follow up, a nice gank by Malrong. So T1, they're still, they're, they're down about one and a half thousand, because this turret's about to fall, so that's gonna get, wait, uh, wait, hold on, I'm sorry. Did I just watch Renekton not kill it? Teddy now, probably just gonna let, no, not gonna let some of the minions die. Yeah, like that's a moment where you would yeah. wait. <laughs> not like the moment that Smith did up in the top side. I really wish we Before this Infernal Dragon. Now, a lot of the gold that KT did. Uh, oh, closer, a little bit bad. of trouble. He's trying to get on top of Yukal here, but he gets caught out towards that Infernal. It's not like T1 were really grouping up, trying to make a big play towards the Infernal. Whoa! That's gonna be a nice hook, but Tom Kench exists. And Ezreal also exists as a champion, able to hop away. And there is the Flash, trying to deny that one. The exhaust comes screen right now. I would draw a line where aiming is right now and just close oh, that off. We're going in. They're looking to get that damage down. The hook comes down onto the Tom Kench. That's a really nice ultimate from Cuz to get Balrog into the back line. That's gonna be the first one, and now look at Closer. Closing in like a shark. But he's not quite able to find the angle on time. 
So T1 able to get the pick off on the jungle, and so KT are going to be very apprehensive to just yeah. run at the dragon at this point. Pilios, he has Caitlyn and Cog available to him. Get closer. Oh, spots him. Spots yeah. him over the wall with the scanner. Sweeper is seeing. He might actually try to slice and dice over and then chain. But no. Oh, yeah. man. Yeah, and there's no juggler. So this is huge. It's really, really, really big. Akali loves Infernal Dragon. She gets dual scale. They're looking to rotate up to the top lane. There's no vision in here, but Yukal looking to run oh, away. Oh, man. Well, and, well, yeah, he's going to put down the Emperor's Divide, but that's yeah, not going to be much. Buddy. Yeah, see you later. Oh, no, doesn't um, get suplex. And he actually gets the kill. It gives it over to Teddy. Oh, he's yeah. about to get the they're, Yeah, they're looking to do it again. Yep. And now we have Abyssal Voids. Maybe they can try to close in here. TP also will be channeled, and Kana is just going to nearly get burst down because oh! does insane oh! damage as well oh! as Abelios, which is just oh! free hitting in the back line, finally goes down. And Smev is unbelievably tanky and super fed in this game, so that's the only oh. reason they were able to go from there and actually have a couple of kills come through, but that is actually, a third health. And there's not a minion wave in close proximity in mid, so Closer can't heal up with his Gunblade. Malrong takes a bit of damage. I, I don't understand. what. Why did you just let the Baron? Yeah, they let it leash. I don't know what that I was. Yeah, you gave Closer a lot of time to TP back in. Here comes Zephyr. That is a what? massive hook. And going on in, they take out the whole oh, Abelios. And Abelios is going to steal it as he is out of there. Kana able to survive. Teddy's still full health. Woo! Looking for the play. On to aiming. He has the range. And he's going to snipe him down. From over the wall is now closer. It's gonna lead the fight here. And then the rest of them just gonna be on the run. Smeb looking for the stun. Wants Whoa! to try to get it. Does he have the damage? The answer is no. Of course it is a Felios on four and a half items. And maybe now is the time that T1 can end the game. Not even Godzilla can beat 200 years. Just, no. just remember that. Time takes everyone. Well. I think that is going to be all she wrote in this game. Now, Malrong is up with Stormbreaker available. There is low HP value on Kana, but it's an Aphilio. So, the Baron and enhanced minions, he's just going to jump in. Okay. Oh, never mind. He's just going to get melted because he is a uh, two item bully bear. So, <laughs> turrets are going to fall, and that is going to be T1. Closer. Closing this one out 2 0. I don't know who to give MVP to. It's between Closer and Teddy.